had almost every single job that would prepare you for the GM, except the GM job. Now he's going to get the GM job in a little different uh, organization, the Toronto Blue Jays, but he has some big shoes to fill there, replacing Alex Stubbs. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. On Thursday, Blue Jays team president Mark Shapiro named Ross Atkins the team's permanent general manager. He replaces Alex Anthopoulos, who vacated the post in late October. Atkins will also assume the role of vice president of baseball operations. The 42-year-old inherits the GM reins from Tony LaCava, who filled the role on an interim basis and will remain with the organization as senior vice president of baseball operations and assistant GM. Atkins and Mark Shapiro are no strangers to one another, having spent numerous years working together in the Cleveland Indians front office. After non-tendering Tyler Flowers on Wednesday, the White Sox have come to terms on a one-year deal with free agent catcher Deioner Navarro pending a physical. He will presumably compete for the starting job with another recent backstop signee, Alex Avila. The well-traveled 12-year veteran will join his seventh big league club, having spent the last two seasons in Toronto. The switch hitter has batted 255 for his career and served in a backup role this past year upon the Blue Jays signing of free agent Russell Martin last offseason. I came to Seattle for the coffee. <laughs> and also uh, to win a World Series. The Mariners signing of Nori Aoki became official on Thursday after the outfielder passed his physical. Entering his age 34 season, Aoki is set to join his fourth team in the last four seasons. The one-year deal is worth a reported $5.5 million with a $6 million mutual option based upon reaching unspecified playing time figures. Aoki is the latest addition in what could be a new look outfield for the M's in 2016, with recently acquired center fielder Leonis Martin now also in the mix. For more on these stories and the very latest hot stove activity, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.